Hey everyone, welcome to the Penny Pinching Prepper channel. Today, <clears throat> I just want to say thank you for showing up for such a short, probably trivial video. If it was useful, do me a favor, get down in there, give me a thumbs up. If you're showing around for the first time and you like what you see, consider subscribing. So, let's get into this one real quick and real fast. So, I did a video on how to make your own um, your own striker um, your own char cloth striker all right this is what the finished product looks like today I'm going to show you how to replace the flint in it now I haven't done this in years um, so I'm a little bit rusty but we're going to struggle through this together and you're going to see me possibly mess up and hopefully get it done. So let's get on. So I'm going to tilt you down so you can see things just a little bit better. All right. So what you want to do first is get your cap off and try to be careful about doing it so you don't screw your... Uh, your, your little enclosure that you made on top here. <clears throat> All right. We, we'd uh, want to keep that in there. I mean, if not, you can always, you know, fix it, replace it. It's not that big of a deal. It, it wasn't that hard to put in there in the first place, right? <clears throat> so I'm going to get in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm actually going to pry it open from the side over here real careful like all right and then just slide it off and then we'll give it a little squeeze back together because when it goes back on we want it to be good and tight all right <clears throat> next thing you're going to do is you're going to these little little plastic pieces that hold the wheel on the side here we're going to be really careful and we're going to keep our thumb over it or even cup our hand to make sure that the spring doesn't go flying, but we're going to gently pry those apart and work the wheel out, okay? We don't want to lose our spring. You might not have an extra one. Um, so, having a little bit of difficulty. There we go. Getting that second one out. All right. So, there's the little flint. Here's the little spring. All right. Now, I, I keep all my extra ones in a little jar. And that one's actually still really good and long. So, we're going to work back with that one again. All right. So, what we want to do... Let's see if my memory serves me right and we can work through this together. Because we're going to get the flint prepared with a pair of tweezers. And we're going to take a pocket knife and we're going to push that spring back down. And then we're going to very carefully move the blade out of the way and hopefully hold that spring. And then work the flint back down in the hole like that. We're going to take the pliers away, come back to the knife, and very carefully so you don't poke yourself or stab yourself, get that over the top of the flint and get it to where you're holding it all the way down like that. All right. Now, if I do it right, I should be able to work this right back in oh, let's uh, get one side on first okay so there we go and we got to work the groove back in all 
Oh, guys, I made a boo-boo. I always forget about this. If it's not sparking it right, it's because you put the wheel on backwards like I just did. If you do it the other way, you'll see it sparking. So I got to get in there and flip it around real quick. No big deal. And yeah, it wasn't that easy to get there the first time, but I would have been a little better prepared. I wouldn't be uh, dealing with it. Oop, I almost lost it, guys. Almost. All right, there we go. So I did it on this white paper just so you could see things a little better. But as you can see, we're back to sparking good. <clears throat> we would have replaced the flint if it got down too far. Mine was still good, so we just put it back in. And then we slide the little cap right on over like that. And then we got our sparker back. So that simple guys and even with my mess up it still didn't take that long so simple tools little little pair of needle nose pliers a knife and something to pry it open with and make sure that knife's small because it's you got to get in there and work but be absolutely careful not to cut yourself guys um if this uh, was useful to you whatsoever, please do me a, a favor. Give me that thumbs up. You know, I know I said it in the beginning, but... And uh, if you liked the video, please subscribe. Uh, if you guys didn't catch the first video on how to make the uh, char cloth sparker, I'm going to leave it in the description box down below so you can check that out. All right, so thank you so very much. And remember... God's good and God bless.